this pole vault competition. Well, well, the pole vault comes to a conclusion with that thrilling finale. We have the last women's track event. Top heat of the women's 100 meters. Women, all eyes are on. Will be in lane four, Eva Svoboda. But in the heat, in lane two, it's Katia Sidu. European under 20 championship silver medalist in years gone past. Poliniki Emanuelidou has improved to 11.21 this year, the 19 year old. Eva Svoboda, two weeks ago on this track, ran 11.03, a personal best, and she was absolutely flying. I watched that race, and she was in great form, and she loves competing here in the Slasky Stadium. Lisa Meyer, well, two years ago, she was second in this competition, behind another pole, Pierce Grahowska. Be consistent in the mid. 11 tens this year, season's best of 11 16. Alice Gandula has improved to 11 17 this year. It's only a few hundreds away from the Portuguese record, which has stood for absolutely ages. Uh, you possibly heard the stadium commentator saying, European Championships finalist from last summer, Rani Rossius. And again, she's also improved this year, so she's in fine form at 11.20. Geraldine Fry, mainstay of the Swiss, very good 4x100 metre teams. And on the outside, well, no Daryl Nita, no Dina Asher-Smith flying the flag for Britain, it's Bianca Williams. Nita and Asher-Smith, the two Europeans, under 11 seconds this year. Williams a little bit of drift of that at 11.32, but a very experienced sprinter indeed. Well, championship record 11-11. That might be under threat if Svoboda gets a good start and manages to maintain her form. But there's seven other women in this race. From the inside as they settle into the blocks. Sidu, the Netherlands. Imenele do... Greece, Svoboda, Poland, Maya, Germany, Gandula, Portugal, Rossius, Belgium, Fry of Switzerland, and on the outside in lane nine, Williams of Great Britain. And Svoboda does get her usual lightning start. Sidu doing well in lane two as well. Svoboda, though, starting to pull away. Sidu challenging, coming through strongly at the end, Rossius, but there's no doubt at all. It was Eva Svoboda, gun to take, championship record unofficially, 11.09. Well, we've seen the times revised a little bit, but 11.09. And hardly any breeze on her back either, no help whatsoever. Terrific run from Eva Svoboda, who's really starting to make this Slasky Stadium her second home. Yeah, brilliant to see, because I remember at the uh, European Athletics Indoor Championships in Turin, she had to pull out with coronavirus just before the comp, but fantastic that she gets an opportunity to win on home soil. As you mentioned, so often we see those electric starts, so great over 60 metres, but held on for the 100, and 11-11 uh, yeah, for Yvette lilova Collio was the championship record set in uh, Stara Zagora on her home soil in 2015. As we have a look at this replay, it was uh, Seda on the inside going nicely. Rosius came through late in the white of Belgium from lane seven, but Svoboda just held on, licking her lips, determination through those last 20 meters to make it home first across the line. Poland up until this point hadn't got a victory to their name on this first day of the first division now they have 16 points to Poland and Eva Svoboda and a championship record into the bargain no doubting the delight on the face of Eva Svoboda the pocket rocket from Poland so team standings on both 
Shimoda takes the victory by quite considerable of a, a margin. 1100. Good run from Rani Rossius over the final 30 meters. Uh, we see. It's also the first heat. Emma Shimoda 11.09. For the first heat, the winner, Jao Bestio, will be well up there. So the first. Just the one point eight, Svoboda, Rossi, Sidu. That was the one, two, three, four. And then Jael Bestui taking 13 points for Spain. And that's after the women's one. Full lineup all the way down the line. 